Hello, welcome to the atrium level two. I'm Miss Denise, and this is Miss Carol. And uh, we're going to start. Let's start with a prayer. We'll light our candle because Jesus is the light. Oh Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Amen. Amen. So during Lent, the priest will wear purple in his chasubles and stole. And as we have said in the past, we put our alleluia away because this is a time of quiet and reflection. We have passed the fifth Sunday of Lent. One more Sunday and it will be Easter, our high feast. And the Christ died, but he rose. So the last time that we met, we finished working with Psalm 23. We also talked about another way the Good Shepherd is present with his sheep. The Good Shepherd called his sheep to be with him at the altar in the church. At the Eucharist, the Good Shepherd is present in the bread and the wine. If we take the Good Shepherd away, would he still be present with us? The good shepherd is here in the bread and wine. Let us read about the historical count of the Last Supper, which will bring the Eucharist more clear to us. Carol is going to read Luke, Luke, Luke <laughs> 22, 7 through 13. Then came the day of unleavened bread, when the Passover must be made. And God sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare us the Passover that we may eat. And they said unto him, Where will you that we prepare? And he said unto them, Behold, when you are entered into the city, there shall be a man meet you, bearing a pitcher of water, Follow him into the house where he goes in. And you shall say unto the good man of the house, The master saith to unto you, Where is the guest chamber where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples? And he shall show you a large upper room, furnished, there make ready. And they went and found as he had said unto them, and they made ready the Passover. Jesus would go to Jerusalem. This is a little map. For what he knew would be the last time. He would go to celebrate a great feast called Passover, which was done every year. Jesus wanted to share this time with his friends. He said and did all the things that were done for Passover, but spoke new words. The Passover meal is 
special foods that are prepared that tells a story of the Jews leaving slavery in Egypt. And this is how they celebrated once a year with special foods and prayers, of course, over the foods. Let us now read Mark 14, 17 through 26. This in Jerusalem is where the cynical is. This is the temple. This is where Jesus prayed before they took him and where the tomb is. And in the evening, he cometh with the twelve. And as they sat and did eat, Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, one of you who eats with me shall betray me. And they began to be sorrowful and to say unto him, one by one, is it I? And another said, is it I? And he answered and said unto them, it is one of the twelve that dippeth with me in the dish. The Son of Man indeed goeth as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is to be betrayed. Good were it for him that he had never been born. And as soon as they did eat, Jesus took bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to them and said, take, eat, this is my body. And then he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank of it. And he said unto them, This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many. Verily I say to you, I will drink no more of the fruit of the vine until that day that I drink it new in the kingdom of God. When they had sung a, a hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives. So after singing songs of praise, they walked out to the Mount of Olives. We know Jesus died. Christ has died, but he has risen. The bread and wine are the sign of his giving all of himself to all people of all times. The whole church is united in this act of offering. Here is a picture of the last one. Well, it's actually a little sculpture thing um, of the Last Supper. It's done by an artist in the 1400s. His name is Michelangelo. Do you all, have you all heard of the history of art? It 
it's something that you study possibly in high school and later in college. It's not a place where you learn to draw or paint, but you learn about all the artists through the ages, maybe how their technique was different from the other. This particular man did uh, many, many paintings in the 1400s. And what I've learned about it is he did not put halos on Jesus or the apostles. It's more of a picture of common man. And if we could see the faces better, when Jesus said, one of you will betray me, one of my 12, they all were, their faces are all, no, no, that's not possible. It can't be me. Um, and that's what he chose to show from this story, scripture from the Bible. It's kind of interesting to, to um, look at that. Now remember, they were having the Passover meal, but Jesus said different words, didn't he? It's the words that we hear during the Eucharist. Go now in peace. Go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Amen.